I remember being a little black girl growing up in Cardiff, Wales and being the only kid who every three to four months would have a chemical applied to her hair to straighten it, to change its te texture, to make it straight instead of kinky and coily and curly. Hair, black hair, African hair, has for me always been a very, very personal journey. One that um, as a child made me feel other and different and was a place through which I tried to find assimilation into dominant culture, into Western culture, white culture. And now as an adult, I'm forging a new journey. Back in 2017, after an entire adult life of having my hair chemically straightened, I made the decision to do the big chop, which means I chopped it all off, I shaved it all off, and for the first time ever, got to see the real texture that lay underneath the chemically straightened, now damaged hair, the straight hair that made me fit in to dominant culture, but wasn't really me. And since, seven, since 2017, I have been on this incredibly personal journey of self-discovery. I shaved all the hair off, I started growing it out, I learned how to take care of coily hair, kinky hair. Um, I, I learned different um, methods of, of care for it that I'd never been taught before, that I'd never learned of before. And over a few years grew out an afro. And then in 2020, a few months into lockdown, I made the decision to go on a different kind of journey with my hair and asked my mom, who's always been my personal hairdresser, she's also, she's had a career as a hairdresser, she's always been the one to do my hair. I asked her to twist it for me, to do two, two strand twists for me because I wanted to experiment with growing out locks. I wanted to see what that would look like and what that would feel like. And so I'm nine months into that journey now. I share all of this because I am really excited to share our second book club selection for the Good Ancestor Book Club. Um, obviously, this topic of black hair, hair, is something that is extremely personal to me. It's how I've had to navigate the world and now it's how I'm discovering myself. And that's why I'm so excited to be sharing our second book club selection. I'm talking about Don't Touch My Hair, by Irish-Nigerian author, academic, and broadcaster, Emma Dabbery. This book is also called Twisted in the United States. Don't Touch My Hair or Twisted takes us through an incredible personal and historical journey of understanding black hair, how it has always been political and how it has always been spiritual and how it has been a source both of oppression but also of liberation. Emma takes us through a journey from pre-colonial Africa and looking at how hair was viewed there and other things connected to it as well, like time and concepts of um, productivity and community and so on. She takes us through all the various ways that black hair has been treated, seen, managed, um, and, 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 and seen um, as we now live in this capitalist, um, white supremacist, patriarchal culture. We look at things like the natural hair movement, we look at cultural appropriation, we look at all kinds of things in this book, as well as Emma's own personal journey as a black biracial woman growing up in Ireland, where black hair was something that people just didn't know what to deal with. I felt so much connection with Emma as she talked about the ways in which she felt like she needed to tame her hair to fit in. And I'm finding so much liberation as well in reading about how reclaiming my natural hair texture isn't just about the aesthetics. It's not just about how it looks, but it's also about how I am walking through the world and how I am choosing to define myself in this world that puts so many boxes around us. I'm so excited to share this book with our book club members and I want to invite you to join us too. We had an amazing first month with Robert Jones Jr. and his book, The Prophets. 
and I'm exci excited to take the book club in a different direction this month with a non-fiction pick, something that can help us to learn, to understand, not just through facts, but also Emma's own personal journey as well. I want to invite you to join us in the Good, book, Good Ancestor Book Club this month. This book will be our book pick for the month of April, and you can find out more information at goodancestorbookclub.com. Two of the things that you get as part of being in the book club is one, reading the book in community and having discussions on the things that are coming up in it. And two, getting to join myself and Emma live in virtual conversation at the end of the month where we can ask Emma all sorts of questions about the book. We had an incredible author event call with Robert Jones Jr. for his book and I'm excited to be in conversation with Emma and her book as well. If you're not able to join the book club, don't worry. We'll also have a Good Ancestor podcast episode with Emma as well, where we talk about her and her journey as well. Either way, I want to invite you to pick up this book. It is amazing. It is giving me so much. It's a book that I want to press into so many people's hands. And Emma has other books coming as well that we also want to share with you. So I invite you to join us at goodancestorbookclub.com. Thank you.